Hi, my name is Jos Wisnu, and today I'm going to show you how we can utilize the view template endpoint of SAP Ariba Analytical Reporting API to find out-of-the-box and custom view. We'll also use one of the out-of-the-box view template to get the count number of records and then retrieve the data synchronously. Later on, we'll also create a custom view template and show you how we can patch this custom view template and add existing custom field by getting the field name from the metadata endpoint as discussed in the previous video. Let's begin by getting our token. The same like the uh, previous video, we'll use the same application and get the token. Once we get the token, we are gonna hit the uh, Field template endpoint. Let me try to minimize the maximize the postman here. Okay. So now the endpoint is going to be the field templates. The header, as usual, is only the API key and then the access token. And on the parameter, it's going to be the realm, the product and the document type. In this case, I'll be see, looking for the document fact, document type. The records returning, it says that field template, document fact system view. This is a system view for document fact, document type. This is the select attributes for this particular view and the filter is the time updated. Let's search for the field template name. There is only one field template. That means there is no custom fee on this one. And let's go ahead and start getting the count and also the data for this document fact, document type. I'll be using this document fact system view field template. So getting the count, like before, it's the same endpoint except it's going to be the details, utilizing the view, document fact system view, and then I'll have the count. And then for filters, I specify it's going to be updated date from February 1st, 2021 until the 3rd. Now the count is returning total record of 73. And then if we change from the count, To get the data. Before we move on, the total record of 73 means for synchronous, each page will be 50 for analytical reporting. So there will be two pages. The first will re return 50 records, the second will return 23 records. So let's search for project ID. There are 50. This is all for the 50 records that we have. And toward the end, it's page token. So the first page is the 50 records. And to get the second page, put page token here. And you can see that uh, the count, the same count returning 23 over here. So there you go. The synchronous call for the field template called document fact system view, given the filters, it's returning 
73 records. The count will return it first. And then the other, the first page, the first time you call without the page token will return the first 50. The second one will return the 23. If the count is more than 100, at the second page, there will be the next set of page token and goes from there. So if you have 200, 201, you're gonna have to call the synchronous five times. Now we will continue with the custom view template. Before we create, let's go back to the get view templates. And in this case, I will be looking for sourcing project fact. So again, this is the few templates endpoint. I will be returning sourcing project fact, document type, and I will see how many out of the box few templates and also custom few templates is available on this realm status Atlantic. Counting the few templates, there are seven. This is the out of the box sourcing project system view, SAP block sourcing project unique. That's the one that I created when I was preparing for this video. There are some sourcing project facts, Salonis, more Salonis, and then Peacock sourcing project fact. Let's just create, see the one that I just created earlier. This is called SAP Blog Sourcing Project Unique. The type is custom. The status is published. And the document type is, of course, Sourcing Project Fact. The select attributes is over here. And then also the filter expression. I will be creating the same view template with the same select attributes and also the same filter expressions, except the name I will change it to become SAP Blog Sourcing Project Unique 2. Let's go ahead and do it. So, the endpoint would be analytical reporting view. For the field templates, we put the name SAP Blog Sourcing Project Unique 2 over here. On the parameters, there's only going to be Realm. On the header, again, only API key and your token. And in the body, we specify that the status is published, the document type is sourcing project fact, SAC attributes as defined over here, and the field expression is going to be only project ID because I just want it to return the specific project ID. This structure can be built manually or you can copy from the get field templates like over here. You can use the out of the box just to start and then modify it. So let me send this over. It is successful. So now there's one called SAP underscore blog, uh, SAP blog underscore sourcing project underscore unique two. And if we go back to the view templates instead of seven, and if I hit send here, that should be eight. There you go. That's the first one I created. This is the second one I created. It is the same. Now let's get some data. From the analytics reporting details, for the view SAP blog sourcing project unique 2. I'll be sending the filters that the project ID is WS100, you know, 7957376. And for the filters, you have to remember that we have because this is on the on the URL, you have to URL encode it. So this is the value that is already been URL encoded here. Go ahead and send it. There you go. This is the answer. There will only be one records because it's unique, you know, 
just for that particular workspace. Now we're going to continue with patching the custom view that we created. It's called, let me see, it's over here. from the post so basically what you're doing is actually the same with the post except you're patching you have to remove the document type because you cannot change it once you create it now to make it different I'm going to get the metadata And specify a document type, sourcing project fact, and I want to get one of the field that is custom field. For example, this one, PRB document type. I'm just going to copy this back to the patch and I'll add it in this view so the same endpoint is another post just like when you create it except at the end you put slash patch let's send it over it returned 200 okay now one of the custom field is being returned as the select attributes. So let's go get the um, data again from the same thing. This was the old answer. See if there is any ERB. There is no custom field, and I'm gonna get the one, the same view that we just patch, and you can see. Is this custom view? So there you go. After this video, I will be showing the asynchronous method to get data because the synchronous method that I have shown today is intended for a very small subset of data. With the API call limit of 300 calls per day for synchronous and 50 records per page, the synchronous method will return a maximum of 15,000 records per day. Now with the asynchronous method, each job can return a maximum of 50,000 records per job, divided into 10 files consisting a maximum of 5,000 records. And the limit per day is 40 jobs. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.